Hi there, this is Sean and in this video I have got the review of Kingston Mobile Light Wireless SD Card and USB Reader. So let's get started, shall we? In the box was the product itself, a getting started guide and then a micro usb to usb cable and a micro sd adapter and it is kingston branded so let me quickly give you an overlook of the product so at on the top we have a kingston logo engraved and at the bottom we have three led notification lights for notifications and then a mobile light wireless logo and at the right side we don't have anything and at the left side we have a power button and that's all and on the middle top we have a SD card reader that suppose SDHC SDXC and at the middle bottom we have a micro SDD connector and then a USB port for charging and connecting USB devices and setting it up was pretty easy as well you have to just turn it on by using the power button for 3 seconds and then you have to go on to your device and connect to its uh, hot Wi-Fi hotspot that the device has created and it should be our open network and then you have to go to the play store app store or amazon store and download kingston mobile Lite and open it and after you are in this app you should uh, definitely see your sd card or usb drive in this so now let's quickly test the speed of this product by copying several songs onto my app offline storage and the songs are about 60 MBs. So let's quickly copy it to my offline storage and here we go and now copy here. And the bar above shows the progression of copying the files to the offline storage. So let me quickly fast forward the video and here we go. And the speed was pretty good it took about 45 seconds to copy the whole files so it is quite fast and let's quickly talk about its pros and cons so the first pro I found about this is you can also connect your USB devices so you don't need OTG cable and its 1810 mA battery can also charge your device but it is quite slow while charging and the signal quality was also good the device is about 5 meters away from me and I am getting 80% signal and now let's quickly talk about its build quality the build quality was pretty good and the metal on the front feels pretty hard and the plastic is not bad too it is good great plastic and that's why the price is so high you are getting what you are paying for and as you know it is a product from Kingston they have a really good after sale services and it should last you for about 3 or 4 years because it's quite durable and strongly made and the question rises should I recommend you to buy this and the answer should be yes if your device doesn't have micro SD card slot or OTG support and guys you can also take a look at its big brother that is G2 I will be giving the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is Sean signing off and peace out.